it seems that the conversation for liminal spaces, those weird, eerie, in-between places, void of space, time, and rationality, is everywhere these days, from series like The Backrooms by Kane Pixels to the abundance of Twitter accounts posting these odd and uncomfortable empty screenshots. I've even done an entire video focusing on a music album solely responsible for my fascination with these liminal spaces. I believe my appreciation for the album in that video, Infinity Frequencies Between Two Worlds, which is a 2018 classic from the mysterious signal wave subgenre, I believe my fascination with the album comes from the fact that it delivers the feeling of liminal spaces through audio form, instead of how we traditionally experience liminal spaces, which is visually through mediums like an image or a video. And while that album's personality is so further fueled by its cover as well, there's no way to deny it, as well as with the album I am focusing on in today's video, Hantasy's Liminal Spaces, clever sample selection and where to make that chop and where to place it and when to place it can make all the difference in making a project feel powerfully empty. Albums like these capture that opportunity to make such an impact on that setting conjured up in your mind, and their sample creation is just as important as the artwork itself in getting you to the feeling of being in a liminal space. Today, you and I are going to explore a fresh, unique take on the liminal spaces phenomenon, something so visually ingrained, but this time brought to life through music. Before we begin today's video, I just wanted to let you know real quick that you can check out this topic along with all of the other articles I have over at Vapor95's Darknet blog. Furthermore, you can get 15% off at their awesome shop by using the code PAD15 at checkout. The link that automatically applies that discount to your order is already in the description down below. So head on over there and check out all the great stuff they have to offer today. The California-based Hantasy is known as a legend in the vaporwave scene, and just like every other video I mention them in, they are mostly known for what many consider to be the first ever Mallsoft album of all time, their 2012 release of the iconic Vacant Places, a dark entry into the world of the generally optimistic and angelic Mallsoft subgenre that would be later brought to life through artists like Cat System Corp and Groceries, but this video will once again serve as another example of why I beg you to check out the rest of their amazing discography beyond Vacant Places. And better yet, if you are an enjoyer of that album, I do believe you will find an attraction to the darker nature of Liminal Spaces. Fantasy's ability to bring these moods to life has always declared them as one of the greats in this uncanny corner of internet music production. On January 7th, 2021, Liminal Spaces would be released. 19 tracks as well as an additional 3 bonus tracks to give the album a pretty lengthy listen, especially when many other Signal Wave releases can feel like they've ended before they've even got going. For a deeper dive on the Signal Wave subgenre as a whole, you can check out this video I made from a while back. I will be sure to also link it in the description down below. Liminal Spaces contains 22 haunting tracks that beg to be pretty, although you know the slightest touch of these tracks would turn their illusions into a pile of dust. Good signal wave, for my taste at least, comes down to the artist's ability to create a narrative through their sound design, the talent to make a sample feel extremely brittle and delicate, all while having the density to tell a story. It's a fine line to walk, and after reaching out to Hantasy to get some insight on the album, they stated that the creation process of Liminal Spaces has exemplified the entirety of their shape-shifting career. They're always anchored in the uncanny but oddly peaceful spacious sounds of Hantasy's own dreamscapes, whether they come as a casual daydream or a deep sleep. The opening track on Liminal Spaces is titled Northwest Plaza. It's the optimistic buzz after the long and haunted lonely tour of the mall in vacant places, a proper finale to that album as Hantasy likes to put it themselves. To me, the track feels like you're on an abandoned boat ride. There's no workers to operate anything, there's no guests accompanying you on your journey through the river of unplugged animatronics, so everything feels so hollow despite it all looking normal at the surface level. The track Same Old Dream blends in traces of echo jams with its distant, echoed vocals washing over some heavily diluted guitars that are saturated in that classic, 
reverb vaporwave effect. It's a sort of psychedelic mall tour experience, wandering in and out of different catered shop decor. Meaningfulness and meaninglessness live in tandem together here. Delayed and decayed sample loops flip through a heavy dosage of filters and echoes. Fantasy signature taste and sample curation is always perfect for the moods their projects are trying to portray. Tracks like Remember, for example, feel so carved out yet so heavy, staring into the depths of a dark room where you can't see the wall on the other side. Yet, you know something has to be there. Fantasy aimed for this track to be Motel Jazz Mollified, a late night fuzzy buzzing worldly wonder all packaged into the nice shape of a dated but upkept motel. The track Shopping Mall Background is the pensive dread of Hantasy resenting their past, where they've been, and how Hantasy got here, all while nihilistically basking in the actual piece itself. Hantasy states it as an intense and reflective soundscape meant to freeze the listener just as it froze time for Hantasy as well. Unfortunately, I do not believe there are or were any physical releases for the self released liminal spaces. Fantasy albums like Vacant Places were brought to life in such beautiful ways on labels like Geometric Lullaby, and a cassette, vinyl, or even CD of Liminal Spaces I think would look great. The album is pretty long at almost two hours in total runtime, and would require something like a triple LP to even bring it to life. But like I always say, bring on some more Vaporwave triple LPs. I really do love the idea of what you can do with gatefold packaging for vinyl, and a project like Liminal Spaces is just perfect for that. Each puzzle piece of this trackless jigsaw feels like a different Liminal Space entirely. It's one of those albums that each of us will have a different experience with because there is no concrete narrative this album is trying to construct per se, but instead just a narrative that conjures up the idea of liminal spaces infinitely. Where I may picture a track like Hello to take me to an abandoned aquarium for example, that track was sculpted around the idea of spaceship-like design and the aesthetic of Apple's new main campus, according to Hantasy. And that specific track may take you somewhere completely different. Hantasy's liminal spaces delivers that uncanny open world nature for anyone that takes the time to dive into its track list. I suggest making a nice cup of coffee or tea, turning down the lights, and listening to this album in the dead of night. I was inspired to find out that each of these tracks were derived from so many different places, memories, and senses for the producer. Liminal Spaces is so much more than sampled selections with some effects behind a photo of a stereotypical liminal space. The album is gorgeously empty and blissfully expansive at the same time and in all the right ways. If you're looking for a journey into the unknown, you found your listening for the night. Check out my video on the horrifying sounds of Girl with Basket of Fruit, or this video exploring Bruce Springsteen's darkest album, and I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today, and until next time, much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.